friends and educators, it's Carrie from Thriving with Therminator, and I just wanted to share how I am going to uh, share my digital interactive notebooks in Google Classroom. So how I'm going to share those with my students. Um, so I set up a mock classroom here. Um, there really isn't anything in my feed. Um, so when I am getting ready to um, uh, assign something, I'm going to go into the classwork tab and I have a couple of topics set up just so that you can kind of see. Um, so I'm going to click create an assignment. Okay, and let's name it unit 00. zero. Getting to ooh, you, you and science, the I and B. And I'm going to come over here and click add. Uh, I'm going to add this from my Google Drive. Um, from my zero zero unit and there it is right there that's my notebook so over here where it says students can view the file um, I'm going to want to change that to make a copy for each student um, so that way each one of my students will get it they'll have their own copy that they can work on in edit mode um, over here you can assign points to it you can assign a due date um, and you can also assign a topic so it belongs to unit 00 so that's what I'm going to put on there uh, usually I would have a rubric uh, that goes along um, with my notebooks um, I grade notebooks at the end of a unit um, so I would attach a rubric here but I don't have one to show you today um, so I'm just gonna come up here and click assign uh, and it usually takes a second because it has to think about it um, because it's it's making a copy for for all of your students um, there's only one student in my mock class which is me so it's not gonna take that long um, so now I'm gonna flip over to the student side so this tab is me as a student so I see my class over here um, I'm gonna click on that um, I don't see the assignment posted in the stream because that's a specific um, preference setting that I have in my teacher Google Classroom so I'm going to come up here and click the classwork tab um, oop, got it um, and I'm going to see that I have an assignment here which is that getting to know you so I'm going to click on it and I can see I have an individual copy here um, just for for me as a student I can open it I can work on it um, and I can do um, whatever it is that I need to do in this notebook. So let's say as a teacher, I'm going to go back to my um, I'm going to go back to my my teacher tab here, um, and I want to grade. I'm not at the end of a unit yet, but I want to grade a specific page in that notebook. So as a teacher, I'm going to create an assignment. Um, and I'm going to say uh, unit 00 DINB page, let's say I want to grade page 8 uh, and page 9. Okay, um, I am going to assign it a topic because it's under unit 00. Um, I would pick a due date, but for right now it, it doesn't matter. Here we'll say it's due today. Um, and it's worth uh, 100 points and that's, that's good. So let's click assign. Okay, so as a teacher, I can go in here to the assignment and I can look and see that I've assigned one student and I don't have any turned in. Okay, so if I go back here, same thing for the notebook, one is assigned, none turned in. So I'm going to go back to my student page and I'm going to go to the classwork tab and I'm going to see this assignment that just popped up. So I know that Ms. Thurman is going to want to see eight and nine in my DINB. So I'm going to come over here uh, and I'm going to download each of these pages as an image. So up at file, ooh, file, download, I want this PNG image current slide and that's going to download for me. And then also page nine because that was on the assignment as well. I'm going to download PNG current slide. Okay. And I'm going to come back to my assignment. I'm going to view the assignment. Great. Okay. So I'm going to add a file here and it was in my downloads 
So here is page eight and page nine. I'm gonna open that up and let it download to the assignment. And then when I'm ready, there's my pages. I'm gonna click turn in. Okay, so if I go back to uh, the teacher side, um, okay, well this is the student side, so it says that I turned it in as a student at 2 o'clock. I'm going to go back to the teacher side, okay, and I am going to view the assignment that I just created, and it says that I have one turned in. So I'm going to click on that, and it says there's two attachments here, I can click on that, and then it will let me grade those assignments. Um, so if you have something like an iPad and an Apple Pencil or a tablet that you can write with, um, you can technically um, annotate right on here, download as PDF, annotate, and send them back to the student. Um, if you have what's called the Moat extension, uh, you can leave voice uh, vocal feedback for your student or you can just type in a private comment uh, for your students. So three different ways that you can give feedback on those assignments as well. Okay, so let's say that I am ready um, to grade the entire digital interactive notebook. So um, we have made it to the end of a unit and I am looking for my students to turn in their notebook. So let me go back to um, There we go. Let me go back to uh, the student side. Um, if I click on this and I view the assignment, um, it is the end of the unit and let's say uh, Ms. Thurman attached, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a rubric to that um, so I can take a look and see what it is that she's grading um, in there. Um, so I know as a student that's that's what I'll be graded on. Um, so over here in my classwork, same thing on the teacher side, I put in a rubric just so you can kind of see what that looks like. So I'm ready as a student to turn it in. I'm gonna click the turn in button. Okay, and I know, so look, it says turned in right here. As a student, I know that it has been turned in. So, um, if I go to classwork, it'll say posted, turned in, all good, Mrs. Thurman has it. So as the teacher, on the teacher side, uh, I am going to see this as turned in. I'll click on it. I'll open up the student notebook and I'll be able to go through all of their slides and see if they've done their work, okay? I mean, doesn't look like they've done any work here. All these slides are blank, right? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but you would come over to the rubric and you'd be able to adjust those points. Um, so um, again, you can leave that vocal feedback. You can leave a private comment here uh, and then you can post it, post the grade, okay? Um, so once you assign points uh, to it, um, let's say they got 20 points for doing their one pager but nothing else, you would assign the points and you would hit return to student. So once a student submits it to you, they actually can't work on it any longer um, until it's been returned back to them. So when I finish grading, I'm going to click return. Um, or if you don't want them to work on it anymore, you don't necessarily have to return it back. Um, but all of that can be here in, in C history. So you can see how many times that they've turned it in, how many times that you've attempted to grade it. Um, when I come over to the student side, I can see my grade. Um, so that's how I would do the um, digital interactive notebooks at the end of a unit. Thanks for watching my video on how to assign and grade digital interactive notebooks in Google Classroom. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, click subscribe, and also share this video with anyone you think this might help. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me, uh, thrivingwiththerminator at gmail.com. Until next time, y'all. Bye.